Well, and it's at that time of the year again when Indians all over the world are celebrating Diwali. Now, this Diwali will truly be a litmus test for the Indian economy as it relies on festive season demand to bounce back from pandemic lows. For 1.3 billion Indians and 30 million of the diaspora, the October to December period will determine the future of India's consumption story. So far, channel checks suggest things are actually looking up. In the auto space, the sales of four-wheelers and two-wheelers across the board have had a bumper October thanks to pre-festive buying. So Maruti, Tata Motors, TVS Motors, Bajaj Auto, all seeing strong growth for the month gone by. And while gold demand that is so dear to Indians, especially around Diwali may have hit a 12-year low. We are seeing a V-shaped recovery in real estate. You see that V-shaped recovery in the tail end of the graph. That reflects the kind of comeback that we're seeing in the residential property market following huge revival in metro areas on the back of record low home loan rates, discounts and incentives offered by developers, plus lower taxes. That's not all. Online shopping also pointing towards a continued boom in India's e-commerce industry. Analysts expect 34% year-on-year growth in online purchases, raking up $6.5 billion in sales right here. That's the total number. Nearly 55 to 60 million buyers coming online, and they are buying what? Smartphones, smart electronics, consumer durables, fashion items, groceries. The list is truly endless. In fact, the demand for consumer durables, home appliances in specific, is so strong strong that Higher India is projecting a 35% year-on-year growth for October, while Panasonic India is flagging a 20% shortage, that's right, 20% shortage in components imported from China, South Korea and Thailand. The government is also pitching in. It is also extending Diwali loans to government employees, $135 to be repaid in 10 months. In addition to that, it's encouraging employees to spend about $3.8 billion worth of unused travel benefits, which is part of their salaries to spur consumption. This, of course, has prompted economists uh, to project economic growth of between 3 to 4 percent in Q3 FY21, which is this period, October to December, that is, a strong rebound after two quarters of deep contraction. So while we are celebrating Diwali in a really tough year, things seem to be looking up for the Indian economy.